today, uh, representing Oklahoma or uh, Woods County, Oklahoma 4-H, uh, we have Hannah Cornelie, and she has a few words to say. Um, hello, my name is Hannah Cornelie, and I'm currently serving as the Woods County 4-H president. I've known Karen since the first day I joined 4-H. She's helped me with various of things from cooking skills to mock interviews for the state 4-H ambassador program. Karen has opened many doors of opportunities, not just for myself and the Woods County 4-H, but also for everyone surrounding her in her community. She provides diet and exercise tips to senior citizens group and is always available to help our community. Our 4-H experience would not be as successful without Karen. On behalf of our 4-H members and alumni, congratulations on your amazing honor, and thank you for all that you do. Representing the uh, Woods County, Oklahoma Home and Community Education Clubs, we have the County President, Carolyn Gassaway. I don't have a speech, but <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of the five HCEs in Woods County, I'd like to present to you this token of our love and appreciation for all you do for us. And we in Woods County have always known how outstanding you are, and it's about time to stay. Next, I'd like to introduce Randy McMurphy. Uh, Randy has uh, is the uh, oh now I forgot what's it District Three, two. two District Two County Commissioner here in Woods County. You want me to read this whole thing, Greg? <laughs> totally up to you. How? You want to hear it all? <laughs> How about I read the first? Uh, this is our proclamation to Karen Armbrister for her years of service, whereas Karen Armbrister has faithfully served the citizens of Woods County for 34 years as OSU Woods County Family Consumer Science and 4-H Youth Extension Educator with 18 of those years also serving as the Woods County Extension Director. And uh, I'll now read the last one. Now read the last one. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, therefore, the County Commissioners of Woods County, Oklahoma do hereby proclaim their wholehearted agreement and approval for the Oklahoma Cooperative Extension Service selecting Karen Armbrister as the 2015 Distinguished Educator for the State of Oklahoma. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's see, we also have David Hamill. Uh, no, David, please. Uh, I'm going to take a different perspective from Karen. I'm fortunate enough to become a county commissioner this year to serve with Randy and John Smiley. But I think I've kind of started at the beginning with Karen. I've been fair board president for quite some time. And I remember when Karen and we all started this together and, and through the ups and downs and and all the things that, that fairs and stock shows and and all the other events that we do at the fairgrounds present. I do want to tell you that of all the years and spent 20 plus working with Karen, it's been absolutely wonderful. I will tell you, she was always right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you, I couldn't ask as a February president and a member for anyone more gracious, more responsible, and better to work with than Karen. She's, I mean, it, she's a professional through and through, but she has a kind and caring heart. She always cared for the kids. She wanted to make things right and do it the right way. She handled herself. I've, I've, we've had some issues come up just like everybody does. Karen handled herself professionally. She chewed on my ear and some other parts of my body every time. You know, I do wrong, but I can't tell you guys that, and I know a lot of you people worked with her that long. Karen, it has been an absolute pleasure and a joy, and it's been a privilege for me, and I know some of the others feel the same way, to work with you. Congratulations. Congratulations. 
Well, before we uh, re recreate the uh, presentation that they did in Stillwater uh, last week, uh, or I'll open the floor as uh, for what David did. If there are others that have comments, uh, such as David's, any any other that uh, want to say something to the group? Yes, I do. Greg. Oh, good, good, good. good. Don. Oh, Donnie, was, you go first. I was just going to say, she was a wonderful person to work with. Love her, love her, love her. Donna was our secretary in Woods County for how many years? Several years. Several years. <laughs> <laughs> um, for those of you that don't know, this is uh, Dale. Chris. Yeah. Boy, that, that was bad. That was bad. <laughs> Dale. Okay. Uh, this is Chris DeMuth, Karen's brother. Oh, oh. Well, you guys are, we just heard about this via Facebook. <laughs> Karen is not one that boasts or brags too much, I guess, in her professional community. Uh, and me being the baby brother of eight siblings, uh, seems like I get nominated as a spokesperson. So I just asked my other brother, Bruce, who's the seventh of the eight of us. Uh, if he wanted to say something, and he said, no, you do that. Because so, I knew he would anyway. Yeah. <laughs> we just heard about this recently, and, and uh, I'm the Ag Ed instructor at Blackwell, and Brother Bruce is the superintendent at Pioneer Tech in Ponca City now. We've both been in education for many, many years as well, and it seems like everybody in our family has been in education, Karen, so... But I'm just thinking as you guys are talking about Karen and Karen and reading this doc documentation about Karen and putting her up on this big pedestal. <laughs> There's another side of Karen that you guys really <laughs> don't know. <laughs> and maybe I should just leave it at that. <laughs> so Bruce and I being the baby brothers of Karen Growing up uh, in a house full of eight children, we can tell you a little different side of her that maybe y'all haven't seen. But uh, we're certainly proud of our big sister, and uh, it's an honor for us to come and be a part of the family with you, Karen. Deborah, did you come prepared, or did Hannah say what her? Uh, Hannah, Hannah went earlier, but oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I've asked you to speak as well. I want to give yeah, you an opportunity. I'm, Come on out front here. I'm part of the 4-H um, parent leader organization, and we love Karen. Um, Karen has never told me no, which is, I just love that because, <laughs> hey, you know, but um, she she's has me. Oh, good. <laughs> well, good. But we, we come to her with a lot of ideas, and she's always very supportive, and we really, really appreciate that. And congratulations, Karen. Uh, work with Karen on the Woods County Coalition and Karen has been involved with that organization long before I got involved uh, she's made a lot of um, she's helped us beyond belief uh, to change the the health of our community through the Woods County Coalition and I thank you for your service and, and thank you for all you're doing We have a few family and consumer sciences uh, educators from uh, neighboring counties. Uh, Mar Marcy Witcher from uh, Alfalfa County did uh, the decorations, and let's thank Marcy for putting that together. <laughs> and going on that, before Marcy says something, uh, the uh, OHCE ladies uh, provided the cake and punch, and let's thank them for that. Uh, okay, Marcy? I just want to say Karen is the most awesome co-worker to ever have. I'm part of the communications group with her, and the four of us, we ought to be the role models for the whole state because we work really well together. <laughs> we all, and anytime you need a resource or anything, you know you can call Karen, and she's going to be there with it. And if she can't find it right then, she will definitely get back with you. So, Karen, thank you. Marlene Buck, a retired FCS specialist, thank you for coming. And uh, did you, or did I miss any other FCS? 
educators here. Okay. All right. Uh, Last call. Anybody? Yeah. Jim. Said yes. I said I wasn't going to say anything, but I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was privileged to get to work with Karen for five years here, but I've, I've got to be family friends with the Arm Brewster since uh, since I've been in Extension, and I, I take great. I'm just so proud of her for this award. And I do have to share a story with you that Karen and I got to have a few stories as you, uh, as you get to work with each other. But uh, one day, Karen has to, and Bruce is involved in this story, Karen filled up with gas in Medford one day, and uh, Karen, was, Karen always goes fast, okay? Like, not only does she drive fast and get to meet new friends across the state of Oklahoma, but she's always in a hurry, and she's got things to do. So uh, she runs into Medford one day. She puts the gas pump in her car and, and thinks it's pumping. Now she goes in and she pays the guy 20 bucks and says, here, fill up my car. So she goes, gets her coat, goes back out, thinks it has pumped, leave, takes the deal out and heads out. She calls Bruce a little bit. She goes, my car is tore up. I, 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 I put gas in it. It didn't work. So he comes, he checks it out, and he taps on her deal and says, Karen... I don't think you put any gas in your car. <laughs> so Karen tells me that story, and I just, I just have to... It was just one of our fun moments that we've had. We've had... I, enjoy, I enjoyed getting to work with her, but more importantly, she's been a friend for 20-some-odd years. So congratulations, Karen. You deserve this. Others that want to share? One more story. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have to say, I see, I see Dee Cooper over here, and he... I've never seen Dee in a, a white shirt and a tie before, and I am impressed, Mr. Cooper. I really am. Uh, Karen, in all honesty, we have seen so many of these kinds of things go on and on and on, and whenever you start getting these kinds of awards, it's a big hint to get the hell out. <laughs> oh, God. We don't use the R word. No. That's not, not, not allowed. Uh, okay, well, before we wrap this up, uh, a few introductions. Alan, uh, wave here. Everyone knows Alan, Arm Brewster, Karen's husband. Lane Arm Brewster, Karen's youngest. Stand up, Lane. Stand up. Woo! Kelly was uh, in from North Dakota and able to attend the ceremony in Stillwater, and, and we were grateful for that. Uh, also in our office, Sandy Rice and Sandy, thank you. Our All right. Well, uh, if you'll come front and center, uh, Dr. Track and Dr. Lowe both here, and Andy. Okay. We're going to. Uh, um, last Wednesday in Stillwater, when all the extension specialists in the state were there at a banquet, uh, we had a presentation, um, uh, and we're going to kind of try to recreate that here, where uh, Dr. Trapp presents the award and, uh, and Dee Cooper uh, uh, makes some comments, and so uh, I'll turn the floor over to, excuse me, I didn't give a proper introduction, Dr. Jim Trapp is the, uh, oh, is the director uh, overall director, right under the dean, for the Oklahoma Cooperative Extension Service for the entire state of Oklahoma, and uh, Ross Love is the assistant ag director uh, for OCES, and we're glad to have them in the hour. Let's welcome them into hour. <laughs> Dee Cooper, I guess I better keep going. Dee Cooper is our district director and our uh, supervisor here in the Northwest District, and we're glad to have Dee as well. Thank you, Greg. I'm pleased to be here, and I like to do this in terms of I know it means something to present this in front of your peers and to be recognized by them, but I also felt when we did this that the appropriate place to present this is where the individual earned the award and for the people that she worked with in that process. Of course, and secretly, one of the reasons to come up here and double check that all that stuff that was written in her <laughs> application was true. Uh, and that seems to be the case, and, and she's worthy of the award, with the exception of the gas story. Gives <laughs> me some pause for a second to think about that, but uh, certainly um, uh, good to be here with you and to, to have this presentation in front of all of 
friends and co-workers that she's worked with and known her better than anyone else. And uh, what I would really want to impress, the statement was made about time we got around to this, I would agree, um, but it is, as we say, the most prestigious award that we give. And we give generally only one of these a year amongst 200 agents or 210 so agents across the state. So you can see how competitive it is when you have that many peers and people to draw on and you're giving one, occasionally two per year. Um, so it is, as it says on here, the most prestigious title awarded by the Oklahoma Cooperative Extension Service and this year it's presented to Karen Armbruster in recognition of exemplary service and dedication to providing outstanding educational programming to the citizens of Oklahoma and to the citizens of this county in particular. And of course, Karen's influence is much wider than, than just Woods County. So, uh, if I got the right county, yeah. Woods. Uh, and she, she's known statewide and, uh, and envied statewide too, so you've got a real treasure here. I'm going to have uh, Dee Cooper talk a little bit more specifically about some of the things that were written about her in her application. And, uh, so the stories that we're told about her application too. Okay. Uh, this is kind of what we did on campus last week, and uh, I, I start off by telling a story that uh, Karen's been involved in extension for a long time. So years and, and years ago, when she was 10 years old, I believe, uh, she had a home demonstration agent named Miss Hall, and uh, this she arranged for Karen and one of her older sisters to do a live presentation on a live television show in Mississippi, where they were living at the time. And they had practiced and rehearsed and had everything down. They had both had equal parts, and it went really well until the cameraman said, you're on. <laughs> and one of the sisters completely froze, didn't move and didn't say a word. And that was our honoree here today. <laughs> she, was, she was speechless. But, but the gist of her story is her sister, like, like big sisters do, took over, did the entire presentation. The cameras went off. It was over with. She didn't tell me a while ago that her sister was experienced with her. <laughs> but Miss Hall, her own demonstration agent, was not angry with her. Matter of fact, she put her arm around her, and she consoled her, and she motivated her to go on and compete in other things. And uh, because of that, the uh, words of encouragement, uh, Karen went on to win a state food nutrition prize. I believe you still have the trophy or the plaque, and and what what year was that? 1966. So she stayed with it, but but more importantly, extension made an impact on her life. And then later on, when she went through college and everything, she started kind of an extension with a special Indian program, working in four different counties. But then she came here in 1980, and became the the extension educator here in Woods County in 1980. And just a few months after. Working in extension, she turned around and wrote Miss Hall a thank you letter many years later, thanking her for the guidance and, and, the, and the motivation that she had given her in her, in her younger life. And, and Karen has done that throughout her career with everyone also. Uh, on campus, we talked about the many different programs that she did. And you all know that. You live them. You're a part of them. So we won't go over those here. But uh, she did say that she got some words, of, some words of advice very early in her career. And that was never make a decision without input from trusted individuals. And so I'm sure many of you have served on her advisory councils and everything else over the years. And also the other word of advice was to keep your nose to the grindstone and do your job. And like I said the other day, it's a wonder Karen has a nose left because it's been to the grindstone for over 34 years here in Woods County. We appreciate everything she does. So please give our honoree another round of applause. overwhelming and I truly appreciate every one of y'all being here and I said I wasn't going to cry and I'm not okay <laughs> there are some other special people here that I want to recognize uh, my mother-in-law I saw walking in and so Doris R. Brewster is here thank you Doris for being here Cindy Connor my district uh, program specialist is here all of my HCE members that are here I'm blessed to, to have you in attendance and my 4-H members I love every one of you it's so special to have you here um, there's tons of other, my sister-in-law Lynn is here from Blackwell, my husband Alan of course, and my brothers Bruce and Chris, you saw them. Um, every one of you are special, and I could name every one of you in the audience right now that mean the world to me, so I'm not crying. <laughs> so thank you very much, and 
we've got some beautiful cake and punch, so I'd love to have to share it with you. So thank you very much for being here. Well, I think we'll just conclude with the reception line. We'll put Karen here at the front so everyone can uh, say a word as you go by, and then please uh, feel free to go on through the reception line and uh, and uh, take what you like. We're glad you're here. Uh, let's let's uh, come by and congratulate Karen. So here, Karen, come stand here at the at the yeah front of the line. Don't be shy. Somebody's got to first. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>